In this video, we're going to learn how to create a Windows system image, or they may also call it a clone. You're going to create an exact duplicate of your hard drive. Now, the reason that you'd want to do this for IT professionals, if you have, um, let's say, 100 computers come in and you want to make them all exactly the same, so you take one of the computers and you would set it up exactly like you want it um, with all the software. Um, any kind of configuration settings and you may spend hours getting that computer set up once you get it set up then you would create the image or the clone and this is using Windows um, built-in software uh, Windows 7 had it and now also Windows 10 have it or has it and this is the uh, best software that they use they also use the same software the snapshot image software um, on their uh, virtual machines on their enterprise servers so it's a, a great software it's built in and you, you just can't beat it um, used this for years and never had a problem with it uh, another reason that you, if you're a home user the reason that you'd want to use this is let's say you um, you want to create an exact duplicate of your hard drive uh, so in case your hard drive crashes you can just simply go down and get a new hard drive put the new hard drive in and then restore this image to that new hard drive and you'll have uh, all your software all your programs uh, you won't have to reconfigure anything you'll just be up and going um, it that easy and it doesn't take very long uh, another reason that you'd want to use this software is that let's say you have a home computer and let's say you got a bigger or a faster hard drive uh, you could simply put that new hard drive in uh, boot up off the recovery disk and restore this uh, image or clone onto that new drive and you'll be up and uh, up and running no configuration so let's get started uh, click on this the uh, the search button and type in backup and then once you type in backup, you'll see where it says backup settings. And you want to click on that. Now what we're looking for is where it says right here, backup and restore. And see in the brackets Windows 7, because this was actually in Windows 7 and they carried it forward into Windows 10. So click on that. Up in the top left hand corner, you're going to see create a system image. So that's what we want. We want to create a system image. It's going to look up for uh, look for your any backup devices that you have. Uh, right now, I have a USB uh, 500 gig hard drive plugged in. You could have a USB any kind of USB device as long as it's big enough to hold everything on your hard drive. Um, so you'll have to look and see what size your hard drive is. You could also put it on if you have a network share available. You could put it on that. But most people will plug in a hard drive, and and. That. So once you once you have that uh, selected, just select your hard drive and simply click next. It's going to back up everything on your system that you're going to need. You don't have to check anything. If you do have some other partitions that you created that's more advanced, uh, you will have an option to check those partitions here, but most people don't. So click the uh, start backup, and it's as simple as that. It's actually going to cl clone make a perfect clone of your computer with all your data all your programs all your software an exact clone of your computer right now as it is in time um, we're going to let this run and we'll come back and we'll show you how to do the restore um, okay the backup has completed and now what it's asking us do we want to create a system repair disk and this is a disk that we'll boot up off of and then um, use the backup to re-image the new hard drive or restore the computer back to like it was. If you don't have a, a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM player, uh, what you can do is create a USB recovery drive, it's called, and you can just type in a recovery. So you could click, click uh, no on the recovery um, or system repair disk and then go to recovery uh, drive. And so you, you right here you can create a recovery drive and put in a USB device and it'll basically do the same thing it'll create a, uh, a USB thumbstick or memory stick that you can boot up off of and then at that point um, recover your computer with the image so in this case we'll go ahead and do the uh, system um, repair disk and it's in the drive and we'll let that create that disk once that disk is done we'll come back and we'll show you how to boot up and actually do the uh, restore okay now that we um, let's say we this is a computer let's say you put a new hard drive in it or um, let's say you're cloning computers so you, you clone one or let's say this is your tablet or your surface pro 4 whatever it is uh, once you have your repair uh, recovery disk and, or your USB uh, recovery drive like you created um, then you're ready to go uh, you can simply put the disk in or if you have the USB drive put the drive in and then turn on your device and in this particular case again we're we're doing a computer um, but this could be any device and then you simply turn it on 
and then once you turn the device on you'll need to um, hit a key in this particular case it's saying press a delete or F2 to enter the BIOS setup so in here we can actually choose what we're going to boot from so we want to boot from the uh, the DVD drive in this case and it should boot us up to the DVD drive it's saying press any key to boot up so this entire process, uh, the the backing up of your uh, making an image or a clone of your drive um, could take 20 to 30 minutes, maybe a little longer depending on how big your drive is, um, and then the restore about the same. But uh, if you had your computer and you, you did an image on it and then let's say you had a virus or the hard drive crashed, um, you can simply do like, like we're doing right now, uh, boot up put the uh, disk in or the USB thumb drive and in 30 or 40 minutes your computer is going to be exactly the same as it was uh, before, uh, before the crash or before the virus. Okay, now we've booted to the um, recovery CD and this would the same thing, this would look exactly the same if you booted from the recovery um, USB uh, device. So you choose your language and from here you do troubleshoot and the option you want to take next is system image recovery and from here it's going to look for any um, any images that you'll have and since we have the USB uh, drive plugged in where we created the backup uh, image um, you'll see it listed here you can do select image if you had multiple images on there but we only um, created one image so it's going to look on there and go oh, okay the e-drive and it already finds it for you so all you have to do is click next and then it's going to ask you, do you want to format and repartition the disk, which is already checked. So now, once you do this, whatever disk you have in there is going to be formatted um, exactly like the other one. So uh, just like the one that you did a backup. So make sure that uh, you definitely want to format that disk and hit next. Um, you don't have to type or do anything here. It's just showing you some information. And then at that point, click finish. And it's going to prompt you and say, are you sure you want to uh, format and replace this uh, image on this new disk? And you click yes. As you can see, it'll start restoring it. And you just uh, let, it, let it sit there and go. Once it's completed, um, it'll restart by itself. Uh, it'll start back into Windows. It'll just come back into Windows like normal. You'll log in and everything should be the same. The only thing that you might have to do is for um, is reactivate a uh, windows normally it'll just pop up and reactivate itself uh, but if it doesn't no big deal it'll automatically activate in three days or you can click on um, system and then click the activation link there uh, the same in office you may also have to reactivate office um, but that's it that's how you uh, back up and restore uh, from a system image or clone your drive um, this also works great uh, if you would do this maybe once or twice a month, uh, it, it also could work in tandem with uh, backing up via uh, the automated backups, which there is another video that um, I've created for that. So if you want to automate your backups and the automated backups, what it does is it just backs up your files uh, onto an external device and it creates uh, previous iterations of those. So depending on how much space you have um, and you change a Word document, then it will go and take that Word document and create a, a new one. So um, you can go back in time, maybe uh, depending on how much space you have, it'll um, you can maybe go back in time two months and, you, and you'll have all the different iterations of that file. Um, so that's the Windows backup and that does it for like your desktop, your My Documents, Favorites, um, videos, pictures, things like that. And you can set it up however you want and which, which documents and how, um, how often you like them backed up. So if you have any questions, uh, definitely feel free to leave them down there. We'd be more than answer them for you and good luck with your imaging.